At the Inside the Cloud event held in Perth in September 2010, the Australian public had their first opportunity to inspect an IBM portable modular data centre. On the outside, it's a standard shipping container. On the inside is something quite extraordinary. IBM data services specialists were on hand to give an insider's tour. When you think about the size of this portable modular data center, a shipping container, it's a very small space. Uh, in a traditional data center, you use lots of power uh, to cool the data center. In a typical data center, more than half the power consumed is for cooling. In this kind of environment, where I've got a relatively small space and I can contain the heat and manage it very carefully, in other words, remove the heat very quickly once it's generated, I can be very efficient with my cooling. This is uh, one of the UPS systems uh, in uh, the Portable Modular Data Center. There are a number of manufacturers we use for uh, UPS systems. Uh, there's a UPS uh, system from Eaton, UPS system from uh, APC. Both of these systems are uh, scalable and modular. That means I can add UPS capacity uh, live uh, on the fly. I can add battery capacity uh, uh, modularly by plugging in uh, additional modules. We see cooling solutions uh, here in the PMDC. Uh, the cooling solutions include uh, uh, in-row cooling uh, systems from APC and rear door heat exchangers from both Vet Corporation and Panduit. Uh, highly efficient uh, cooling systems that are closely coupled to the heat load um, providing for a, a real green theme, a energy efficient cooling solution for, for the portable modular data center. We've got racking solutions, um, cabling solutions to support uh, the networking equipment uh, in the data center, in the portable modular data center. We've got power distribution um, solutions that include the overhead bus bars uh, for power distribution uh, to the individual racks in the, uh, in the PMDC. Power management uh, solutions to be able to monitor and manage the power consumption in the facility. We've got security cameras uh, throughout the portable modular data center to provide for uh, visibility to uh, the personnel in uh, the container. Um, and the security systems can be expanded to uh, report alerts and alarms even if a cabinet door was opened. Uh, you can have sensors uh, uh, on the cabinets that will, uh, combined with the security cameras, show you who opened the door. Fire protection systems are inherent to any data center. Uh, so the portable modular data center would have uh, fire protection systems typically uh, supporting this small area that uh, uh, we have to cover. Uh, there are numerous methods where um, IT is cooled inside a container. Uh, I guess first of all is uh, these things are heavily insulated as well. So when we do cool them, uh, we cool it as efficiently as possible. Uh, the actual cooling methods inside really is tailored to what the IT equipment requires. So we can uh, provide um, high airflow in-row type cooling systems uh, using some vendor partner uh, infrastructure systems. Uh, we can use uh, closely coupled uh, rear door heat exchanger technologies, uh, overhead uh, fan coil units. Uh, you know, a multitude of uh, cooling infrastructure can be customized to suit the IT environment inside the container. And now what we're starting to see is customers who have decided they've got some specific use cases as to how the facility will be put to use in their particular environment. So we've got customers who are using it as, a, as permanent uh, data center space, customers who use it as disaster, potential disaster recovery space, customers who use it as uh, portable uh, data center space, um, customers who use it uh, as temporary data center space. Uh, we've seen them in, used in uh, military applications, we've seen them used in, in uh, mining applications, oil and gas uh, applications, uh, movie making applications. Uh, so we've seen a bit of uh, everything in the industry. The uh, uptake and the use of these facilities is, uh, is, is slow but uh, constant, uh, so it's, uh, it's a developing market.